I got some good news and I got some bad news. The good news, I am the bad news. In this video, we'll be discussing and assembling a GoPro vlogging setup, which is essentially just a couple upgrades you can get for your GoPro that will allow you to get really high quality audio and potentially walk around and talk to yourself if that's what you're into. The first piece that makes up our vlogging setup is of course the GoPro. Um, I'm using the Hero 5 Black, although uh, the 6 will work for this exact same setup. The next piece is gonna be the Pulu's case, which accepts 52 millimeter filters, comes with a lens cap, and gives the GoPro a cold shoe mount. All you do is you slide it in there, and then uh, tighten up this thumb screw, and there you go. One of the other cool things about this um, case is that you can open up the USB door while it's in the case. So you can, you know, say you want to, when you get home and you want to dump your files from the GoPro onto your computer, you can just open up the door and, and hook it up. But that's also essential for hooking up the next piece, which is the GoPro microphone adapter. This just plugs in to the USB slot, the USB plug on the GoPro and allows you to plug in a 3.5 inch uh, microphone cable. One word of caution is that you can't pull this thing fresh out of the box and then just plug it into the GoPro and use it. I tried to do that and there was absolutely no audio coming through. You actually have to connect this as you see it right here and then um, connect from here to the um, computer. So that's just something to be aware of. The microphone we'll be using is the Rode Video Micro. Um, here it is without the, the dead cat. I normally keep it in there. And now to make it easy to tote around, grab the Gorillapod. I'm using the SLR Zoom because I've had it for a while. But um, there's some newer ones available. And uh, just like that, we're, we're good to go. Definitely really helpful if you already have a GoPro and you just want to vlog with it. You can get super high quality sound. And you know, it's, I mean, even if you already vlog, it's just nice to have a smaller setup. One of the weaknesses, one of the things I don't like about it is that you can't actually use the one button mode on the GoPro. So like one of the cool things about a GoPro is you can just hit the button and it'll automatically turn on and start recording. But when you do that with the microphone, you don't get anything. Another thing that I'm not too big a fan of, the dead cat will actually be in the frame if you're not like putting some kind of tension on it, you know what I mean? There's a bunch of different ways to fix that, but that's just something to be aware of. So I think the next thing is to take it outside and go use it and see how it works. One of the best things about using the Gorillapod is you can twist and bend it up in all kinds of creative ways and mount the camera pretty much anywhere. And the cool thing about using the GoPro in general is that you can use the app to monitor yourself so you can actually see what you're doing. Not that I'd recommend it, but if you want to, you can mount it on your bike too. And of course, I almost forgot, you can do the walk around and talk to yourself thing. But of course, to do this and monitor yourself at the same time, you need two hands. Well, that about wraps it up for this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you did like this video, and if you didn't, leave me a comment. Let me know what I can improve on for next time. Don't forget to hit me up on social media at the bad news, D-A-B-A-D-N-E-W-Z. But don't worry, it'll be on the screen. And uh, always hear the bad news first. Skirt. That's when you leave, but you know you're mounted up there so robustly because of the gorilla pie.